Okay, we are going to write equations in standard form today. Standard form is ax plus by equals c. Now, we have three different scenarios when we are writing equations. One is you are given a point and a slope. Two, you're given two points. And three, you're given the slope and the y-intercept. So, in all three scenarios, we've looked at them writing equations in slope-intercept form and writing equations in point-slope form. Now, we're going to take either of those forms and transfer it to standard form. You cannot write directly into standard form. You've got to transfer it. So, um, when I say that, you just um, know that A, B, and C don't stand for anything in particular. They are just constants or coefficients of the variables in a constant number. We, we have to write in a different form first, okay? A couple things about standard form. You have, you cannot have fractions. You, X and Y have to be on the same side, and the coefficient of the X term cannot be negative. Okay, so given a point and the slope, example, the point 3, 4 and the slope 2 thirds, what we're going to do is use that information and write the equation in point-slope form. So recall, point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So that's y1. So to write in point-slope, remember your point is x1, y1, your slope is m. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Step two to now get this into standard form is if your slope is a fraction, multiply both sides by the number in the denominator, then distribute the slope. So we are going to multiply by three because we have a fraction. So we're going to multiply both sides by three. Well, on the right-hand side, those threes cancel. So what gets distributed is the 2. So you're going to distribute that 2, and become, that becomes 2x minus 6. On the left side, we need to distribute the 3, 3y minus 12. From there, use opposite operations to move the x term to the left and the constant term to the right. So we are going to, it's a positive 2x, so we're going to minus 2x to this side. And that's a negative 12, so we're going to add 12 over to the right. So, that is a 12 right there. All right, so negative 12, 12 cancel. We have negative 2x plus 3y equals, those cancel, negative 6 plus 12 is 6. Only if x is negative, you multiply every term by negative 1, because remember in the last slide, the x term has to be positive. So now we're going to multiply everything by negative 1. That becomes positive 2x, negative 3y, and that's a y, and negative 6. And there you go. That's standard form. There are no fractions. X and Y are on the same side, and the X term is positive. Okay, so next, uh, you have some you try, so go ahead, pause the video and do those, and then unpause it, and we go on to the next slide. So, now, if we are given two points, we basically do the same thing um, that we did, actually it was today in class, um, when you're given two points to write in point slope, you first need to find the slope. So we are going to find the slope, so x1, y1, x2, and y2, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that gives you 1 over 3. That's just one five there, one over three. So one third is our slope. Use either point. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the first one. We're gonna write it into point slope. So y minus two equals one third times x minus five. Now we follow the steps on the last slide. The um, step two was if the slope is a fraction, we're gonna multiply both sides by that denominator. So multiply both sides by three. On the right, those three cancels, we just distributed 1, so it's just x minus 5. On the left, we have to distribute the 3. You have 3y minus 6. From there, we use opposite operations. I'm going to move the x over, and I'm going to add the 6 and move that over. So that gives me negative x plus 3y equals negative 5 plus 6 is 1. 
x has to be positive, so I multiply everything by negative 1, and I get x minus 3y equals negative 1. That is standard form using two points. So go ahead, pause the video, and do the next you try. Now, we are given the slope and the y-intercept. When we are given the slope and the y-intercept, it is easiest to write it into slope-intercept form, right? Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So we have a slope of one-third, so y equals one-third x, a y-intercept of four, one-third x plus four. If the slope is a fraction, multiply every term by the number in the denominator. So we're going to multiply every term, the y, the 1 third x, and the 4. So you get 3y. The 3's cancel, so equals 1x plus 4 times 3 is 12. Use operation, opposite operation to get the x term to the left. So minus 1x gives me negative 1x plus 3y equals 12. And if x is negative, multiply every term by negative 1. So it becomes positive x minus 3y equals negative 12. And there you go. I believe that that is it. And, yep, the last slide is a U try. So there you go. That is it for writing in standard form.